Alright. So, I watched the new anime Days reboot, and it's really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at Trump. Anyway, let's get serious. Breathe in. Breathe out. Calming. Cleansing. Kutos. Yes. Fly Kutos is our subject for today's video. Before we begin, make the word subscribe to this channel. I would highly appreciate it if you do subscribe, and if you do, I will give you the world famous Luma Nuttie's not sponsor, Chicago Deep Dish Pizza. Subscribe. Let's, you know, look at this incident and see why people are pissed at Twix, owner of Fly Kutos. I think we all know what Fly Fly Kutus is, so let's look at the situation. Pepe, owner of tech group called Polaris, I hope you guys know what it is. They make, you know, airports and assets. It's, it's really cool. Said in a Fly Kutus general chat, Latinos for Trump. For which Twix replied with an uneducated blank. He then said some things about Obama and told Pepe he was hashtag uneducated. Since, you know, I don't want to talk, keep talking, screen chat will be on the screen. Then, he urges everyone 18 and older who can vote for vote for Biden. Wow. Just wow. Polaris then went on to take jabs at the broken Twix bar by telling people that he was not followed, following his own rules in hashtag politics channel, where it said, keep it respectful. Zach, a person on Polaris, made such a great statement in the Polaris Discord server by saying, Everyone, including Polaris, has the right to voice their opinions in a respectful way like a bum. And, you know, shout out to my mate Victor, one of the presidents of Fly Kutus, by responding via DMs to Pepe, saying, Hey, as the president of Kutus, I just want to let you know that I personally do not care who you support. I do agree a lot of this is taken too seriously, and people should respect each other's opinions. I don't completely agree with some of the things they said in Serbia as it's really, really extremely rude and insulting just because of what someone believes in. Sorry, we were attacked. If I could control it, I would, but that's something beyond my control. Yes, what a great Roybeater for taking time to apologize on behalf of the broken Twix bar, the Pepe. Look, we have different opinions. And before you rant that I'm a Trump reporter, I'm not, I'm not a Trump supporter, and I don't support Trump. I don't support Biden. I don't like both of them. I'm a third-person person who, who supports the Libertarians and Green Party. There are several wrong things about whatever the hell the broken Twix bar said. It's disgusting. As in, it's really disgusting. Tell people to tell people to vote, even though they cannot. It's plain disgusting. I don't trust flight coaches ever, and I never will. And you're making a toxic scene. In your own stupid airline. It's darn dumb. Also, how does politics go with radiation? How? It's like saying you combine watermelon with pizza. Unless you want a watermelon pizza, it does not fit like jigsaw puzzle. Radiation is broken and I hate to see it like that. To be honest, I would like to murder Twix if I wanted to. But of course I won't. But be honest, he's too extreme. Also, is it against the law? Hmm. Look at something from Cornell Law School, which is credible. Whoever intimidates, threatens, coerce, or attempts to intimidate, threaten, or coerce any other person for the purpose of interfering with the right of such other person to vote or to vote as he may choose, or of causing such other person to vote for or not to vote for, any candidate for the office of president, vice president, presidential, elector, men in the senate, blah, 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 as at any election, and blah, 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 shall be fined under this title or present for not more than one year or both. Yeah, I thought so. Twix doesn't intimidate Pepe, and other people are seeing the event, so basically it's 2016 meddling via Russia, but the Fly Kutus edition on a smaller scale. Now again, thanks to Victor at Fly Kutus for being there for Pepe. He, to be honest, would be a better airline owner than the broken Twix bar. I'd always never trust a Fly Kutus, and yeah. Man, it's stupid to rant someone on a blocky game about their political stance. So please, and I beg you, subscribe as I won't rant you for your political affiliation. Hit the bell for Ask Liberty Rings, and hit the like button to make sure your favorite candidate wins. Sorry, Kanye. And just wait 2024. Guys, if you're watching, LaGuardia better be good. See ya.